I'm here visiting Dublin, uh, very exciting for the first time. Uh, and I, I was in Liberty Hall this morning talking to 450 children, all about my books and the inspiration for them and where I get my ideas from and what it's like having your books turned into a movie. Uh, and so I'm doing a few of these kind of talks and I'm visiting bookshops and I just went on the Viking Splash here in Dublin, which is a duck tour. Uh, and we went around Dublin, kind of roaring at passers-by and, and hearing about Dublin's Viking history. Um, so I'm having a fantastic time here in Dublin. Uh, I'm writing a 12-book series um, uh, called How to Train Your Dragon, all about um, this boy, Hiccup, who's a, a Viking, living in a world in which dragons really exist. Um, and, and, and it's now got very exciting, now you've got to book 10, because there's a dragon rebellion. All the dragons have been called together by this huge dragon furious. And he's, he's, he's created a dragon rebellion that is aiming to extinguish the entire human race. So, so Hiccup uh, is having to stop the human beings uh, making the dragons extinct or the dragons making the human beings extinct. So it's quite a big story now. It's got very exciting. Um, uh, and it's the 10th book in the series. One of the lovely things about being a children's book writer, which is a lovely, lovely job, is the reaction you get from children. And I wrote the books partly because I love telling stories, but also because I wanted to get children as excited about reading as I was when I was a kid. I loved reading, I loved books. For me, books were like opening, opening a door into a magical world. And that's what I want to do. I want to make children as excited about reading as I am. So it's, it's the most lovely thing if you go on these tours and you go around and, and you meet kids who are really excited about reading. And, and if, if your, your books have helped do that, that's just lovely. That's such a lovely feeling. It is, it is wonderful to see children getting so involved in the story, stories. I, I, I deliberately make them as funny and as exciting and as moving as possible in order to get children very, very excited about, about the books. And when, and when they get into the story, children in particular, even more than adults, seem to get very absorbed into a story. Um, and they really believe in the characters and it becomes so much part of their lives. And so it's, it's enormously satisfying. It's, it's just so exciting to see that happening um, for children. Um, and, and when you think, gosh, it's something that I wrote that did that, that's, that's, that's really exciting. And then, of course, then there's the extra level that, that the books were made into a film. Um, and, and so you get children you know, incredibly excited, you know, watching the film. And that's amazing, that's extraordinary to see that happening, to, to sit in a cinema and all these children, you know, really believing that they're flying on the back of a dragon with hiccup, you know. And you think, I started that, that's, that's amazing feeling. I'm, I'm an illustrator as well as a writer. And I, I read English at university, but I also uh, went to art school. Um, and, and so the illustrations are really an important part of, 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 of the books for me. I do all the illustrations myself. And, um, and, and it's very much, I think I write in quite a visual way. I write in a visual way and I see it in my head almost as if it's like a film. Um, so I could almost animate the whole thing. In my, obviously I can't in a book. But, uh, but I do see things in my, in my head. All the, so when I'm writing a new character, I always illustrate them first. And if um, I, I, I'm coming to a new location, I don't know, like the Amber Slave Lands, which is a location in, in my new book, I'll always draw it. I'll draw Prison Dark Heart and, and start drawing it as a way in. Um, and also if I get to an emotional bit, I'll often draw Hiccup and his father just because for me it brings the story alive and I also think nowadays children particularly are very they're very visual um, because you know the telly and films are so wonderful now and the internet children are even more visual than when I was growing up 
So I think it's very important to have um, uh, uh, pictures in books, even for older children. My books are for older children. Um, uh, 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 but it's important for children to have that because I, I think, that, as I say, they're very visual. Um, so the, the, the illustrations are a, a very important part of the books. And I think also they were um, one of the reasons that, that, that DreamWorks was interested in the, in, 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 the, in the books in the first place, you know, was the illustrations. Um, and, and the style is, is very visual, so I suppose they could see it a, a, as a film.